What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B, and I just want to give a shout out to all of the sponsors of Hashtag Together FTR. The first sponsor I want to give a big shout out to today is Advanaclean of the Tri-State, ran by Joel and Pam Dooley. Advanaclean of the Tri-State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers. Things like mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning. Give them a call for a free estimate today at 606 331 Five zero zero one, and that six zero six three three one five zero zero one. Go ahead if you're on Facebook. Head over to their Facebook page at Advana Clean of the Tri State. Give them a like. Be sure to share their page. Send them a message and say Taylor sent you. And if you need to go to their commercial location, you can find them at forty four forty six Thirteenth Street. Ashland, Kentucky. And the second sponsor today is a great friend of mine. He is seriously, hands down, top two sculptors I know personally. Uh, His name is Wyatt Freeman. W-Y-A-T-T-F-R-E-E-M-A-N. Look him up on Facebook. He's a sculptor, painter, He can draw, and just a great person all around. You can find him on Facebook, as I said. He is somebody I am recommending today that you need to get with as soon as possible to get some commissioned art. He charges a very reasonable fee and can do pretty much anything you need and will work with you very attentively. And last but not least for the sponsors of this episode... Few Apparel. Shout out to my dude nephew over there killing the game at Few Apparel. And you all can check him out on Facebook. And this dude's real awesome. He can get you all the way together with your merch. If you're, uh, you know, a rapper or if you're a band or anything that you're chasing in your artistry, he can get you taken care of. T-shirts, hoodies, so on and so forth. So make sure to check out Few Apparel today. Let's go ahead and get this episode started. What's up, everybody? You listening to For the Record with your host, Nug B. Oh, it's for the record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said it's for the. It's for the record. Yeah, boy, it's for the. It's for What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B, coming to you with episode 43, for the record. Hashtag together, FTR. I am joined by Rob Pimpin' Pimpin' Pimp, baby. What's up? (laughs) What up? How you doing tonight, man? Not bad, not bad. How about yourself? Doing great, bro. It's been a blessed day. Uh, You know, kind of just took it easy on, you know, the old Sunday, just hanging out, not doing a whole lot. Um, Hung out with the kids and such. You know how it goes. I did the same. Same old, same same old, you know. Um, And as usual, we're going to start this off with the entertainment history. Uh, On this day in 1990, Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice hits number one in the U.S., making the first time a rapper has topped the chart. Nice. (laughs) How crazy is that, bro? Vanilla Ice, baby. Look at him. God. Uh, On this day in 1999, Hootie and the Blowfish settle out of court with Bob Dylan, who sees their lifting of lyrics from Tangled Up in Blue on their hit Only Want to Be With You uh, as more plagiarism than tribute. Mm. So, yeah, I didn't even know that until I read this earlier because I was checking it out. I was like, dude, that's super cool. I want to talk about that. You know, like I really didn't even know that. But it makes perfect sense now that I see the like I hear the comparison of the two. I'm like, oh, dude. I didn't. That, that makes perfect sense, you right. know. It's weird, man. 
Uh, on this day in 2001, Mary J. Blige's Family Affair hits number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the first of six weeks. It's the singer's first single to top the chart. Wow. God, I love Mary First of many. To oh, top 100%, the chart. dude. Yeah. What was that song, uh, Runaway Love with Ludacris? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was sick, dude. I loved that song when it came out, man. So good. Uh, I got some quotes of the day as well for you all. And before we do that, uh, I just want to say for all of you that are watching right now, I want to thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you for all the support you've given. Make sure to share this video, like, and comment. And also, while you're at it, please go subscribe on YouTube, Together FTR. And you can also check out our exclusive website that has all of our merch on it that can be shipped directly to your house at www.togetherftr.com. So, quotes of the day. Uh, first one's by Vinnie Paul. I did a lot of great things in the past, but I live for today and for the future. So, I've been on this positive path lately, man. I've been trying to look over all the nonsense I'm dealing with in my life. So, okay. that really hit me when I read that. I was like, man, you really do. Everything's going to work out. Even if, you know, I have it so good in comparison to some people. So, I try not to take things for granted, man. Mm -hmm. I really do. I really try to look at the blessings that I do have. You know, I'm healthy. You know, I, I got a lot of things going for me in my life. You know, I'm not sleeping on the streets, you know, right. like I'm not right. in a hospital. I'm not in prison. I'm not dead. Um, so I try to look at all of the things I can give gratitude to keep me going. You know, like yeah, I feel you. like once I get into a negative mindset, it's hard for me to get out. Yeah, you get stuck. there. I get stuck, dude. Yeah. And I know I know me. You know, well, I, that's a lot of people, though. Like, absolutely, that's, it's human that's, nature. That's the the flipping of the coin, right? For real, there, that really know? is, man. It's like when, once you let it in, you let in the darkness. It's just, oh, yeah. It just gets you, bro. The, but it's like once you have something that will get you up out of there. Yeah, you start it, focusing it happens, on something, dude, and it clicks, man. And yeah. like, it's so good. And I feel so bad that a lot of people never get that click. Yeah, yeah they never true. get that thing that really just brings them out, dude. And like, I just feel like there's a lot of people out here who are just really down on their luck. And are in a lot worse shape than I am. Yeah, but so. I mean, you know, I don't want to say it's on them, but they have to. Oh, we all right. had that moment of clarity where we're like, oh man, like this part is I can I can be thankful for this. This is true. You know, this is very true, bro. And like the thing is too, is like you're you know what you're getting at is pretty much like you got to take you got to kind of make your own destiny almost. Like, well, you just got to turn around and be thankful for some things. Like true, we I, we can too, be down about everything. There's something yeah. negative that we can be down about every day. But, Very true. You know, it's on you to be like okay, to make your day I am good. healthy. I there do have go. a place to stay. Yep. You know, that's true, man. That can change your life. That's for real. Uh, second quote of the day I got today is, uh, I did a lot of great things. In, uh, no, that was the Vinnie Paul one. My bad. I read that over. Uh, your smile will give you a positive. Oh, my God. No, that's the wrong one, too. Look at that, dude. I typed, I typed the same one. Oh, my gosh. Hold on here. The, what, the other one was from, uh, let me see. Guess I can't even do the quotes of the day because I typed them <laughs> on the other notepad uh, and, yeah, didn't even save it. Awesome. That's awesome. So I'll do the facts of the day. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm uh, a rookie, I guess. I, the last episode, you would only get 23 minutes of the video because <laughs> I, I didn't make um, I didn't make enough storage room oh, So from no. the, the, the previous episode. So I messed that one up. So it's just amateur oh, hour over man. here, bro. I'm just out here slipping, I guess. It's all right. Bro. It's all right. I can't get it together. We'll get it together. <laughs> um, today for the facts of the day, I got every human spirit been about a half an hour as a single cell uh i thought that was super interesting like i love knowing more about science man i feel like science is so important to every human's existence everybody needs to know science bro that's a necessity hmm. like it's like math i feel like you need to know math you need to know science so based on that fact you're saying like in development we mm -hmm. spend just a half hour as a half single hour cell before we half start hour is a single cell yep wow it's pretty crazy uh, another fact of the day is the elephant is the only animal with four knees. Hmm. Dude, when I read that, I was like, no. There's so many four-legged no. animals, though. <laughs> no. There's no way this is a real thing. And then, I, yeah, bro, it's legit. Wow. No other animal has four knees. Now, what's the qualification of a knee, though? I guess because you got to think about how an elephant is. They have a knee like us. Like kneecap and everything? Yeah, that's oh, what I'm wow. saying. Okay. Like, think about how an elephant's leg, like... You know, I'll pull up. Yeah, I'll they pull just up. walk like we do, just four of them. They, they, yeah, like they really do. They, I, and I never thought about it until I read it, and I was like, dude, that mm. makes perfect sense. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Let me see here. Pull up a picture real quick. But yeah, I was. It really blew my mind, bro. Yeah, because you you but look at it. It's got like a you know the curve. To yeah, it, I like see right there. 
Those aren't really good pictures. Wow. You can kind of see it right there. That's Still, though, you start to that, think of like. That's a pretty good one you can yeah. see. The way it bends, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, think yeah. about how a dog bends. Like, think about how a, a dog kind of like right, goes like an the accordion. Opposite way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like an accordion. So maybe a knee is it the way it bends. It might be right. that. Exactly, bro. And deer are the same way. D- exactly. You know, like, yeah, horses. that may. Dude, I don't. I can't think of any other animal. That's that. Like I said, I really was blown. My mind was blown by that, bro. Like for real. Jeez. It makes me wonder what they call the back legs of a dick. Like, what, what do they have? Yeah, <laughs> what is that? Like, they not have knees? <laughs> literally makes no sense. Oh, no knees, son. <laughs> uh, last fact of the day is it would take 11 Empire State Buildings stacked on top of the other to measure the Gulf of Mexico at its deepest point. Wow. Crazy, bro. Hmm. Crazy. The ocean is so scary, man. I don't know what's, I don't know what's scarier to me, the ocean or space. We're They're scared both of them terrifying. because we don't know anything exactly. about them. And, but we know more about space than we do our we oceans, do. which is ridiculous. Oh, dude, <laughs> the ocean is terrifying. And terrifying. we're just screwing it up. Oh, you know? we're ruining it. We're just <laughs> destroying it. We literally couldn't care less about anything besides, you know, uh, drinking Bud Light and watching cable. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, we don't need we, that water. Yeah. We won't drink Bud Light <laughs> yeah, all day. Exactly. We got, we got, like, you know, diluted Bud Light water. We're good. We got this, you know. Um, also got some recommendations for you all today on some films that I have watched. Uh, these are the TV shows, actually. Uh, Yellowstone is the first one I'm going to recommend today, as I do on pretty much every episode. Uh, starring Kevin Costner. If you haven't watched it, check it, it out, bro. It's dope. <laughs> I'm seeing your list here, and I don't think I've seen a lot of them. Oh, bro, you got to check them out. I'm <laughs> telling you, man. I'm te- You got a fire stick? Uh, no. Dude, you need no. to scoop one of those up, too, man. That's the move, I'm telling I you. I <laughs> illegally stream all my... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fire stick, same thing. You know, you're, right. you're still you're a pirate of the interweb seas. You right. know, like yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah, still yeah. you're still streaming. You know, um, Yellowstone, uh, Peaky Blinders is the next one. Which, dude, you got to get that in. Yeah, I haven't. I, so how many seasons good. do they have? Five now. The fifth one just came out. Yeah, I have. I blew through. Me it, and my I'm girl's like, always looking for something to watch. So bro, I'm sure that's something we could dig hey, into. Hey, look, I'm telling you, dude, you'll love Peaky Blinders. I got a couple. Uh, no, they're not on the list. I'll tell you about, uh, you know, whenever we get done with this, man, a couple you got to check out. I got some, I got a list, like, because that's what I do, man. Like, and that's a, another reason I do a lot of these things outside of the podcast or for the podcast, you know, right. so I can recommend to people, uh, critique things, you know, whatever, man. Like, I used to have this thing. I'm kind of broke right now, to be honest. Like, I don't have the money to do it, like, at <laughs> right. this point in time because Christmas is coming up and my yeah, daughter's yeah, birthday yeah. is literally the day after Christmas. Oh, so, wow. So, like, yeah, bro. So, I'm getting, I'm about to get hit hard. Um, <laughs> So, like, what I'd, I used to do is, like, I'd go once a week, bro, to the movies, even by myself or whatever, yeah, bro, yeah. and I would watch a movie, and then I would do, like, reviews of it and stuff, you know, and, like, you know, give my, you know, critique okay. on it or whatever. And uh, I like doing it with TV shows as well. Uh, the third, it actually just wrapped up last week, and that's Wu-Tang and American Saga on Hulu. Dave East plays Method Man. I've actually been waiting on that to f- wrap up. Oh, it's done. And I'm trying to, like, not have any spoilers, so I can just go and... Instant gratification and just yeah, it, yeah 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 I feel you bro I literally I wish I would have done that too but I'm glad I watched it because like I'm glad I watched it as it came out and I'm kind of mad that they started doing that like why yeah. they not just Netflix us bro and hit us with everything <laughs> at once and even Netflix even is starting Netflix to do is it starting to do it yeah, with their know, own bro. yeah like, their own productions why and I know why it's because they want people to come back. And it's the format. I think they're trying to bring trying to be uh, the like baby boomers else. who watch a lot of cable. I yeah, think they're trying to make them comfortable with that format. That's true. You know. I'm not comfortable with it. Keeps I'm customers offended. retained as well. Yeah, you can't I'm, go and binge something yeah. and then I, I know you have to come back. Yeah. Exactly, you have to come back, bro. That's the thing. It's that like job security almost, yep, man. Exactly. Like it's horrible, and I'm I'm triggered right now, bro. And I'm gonna write a formal <laughs> complaint to Netflix and tell them I'm not cool with this, bro. Because I Hulu need instant started gratification. It, man. Yeah, dude, for sure. Prime did. I think Prime had a couple few that uh, they were like week to week too. Yeah. So they're all doing it, and I hate them. And, uh, and yeah, then Disney's. Yeah, Disney, Disney Plus, Plus is comes out drop. this month, man. Yeah. I think Here on in like a couple days. I yeah, think. like yeah, uh the seventh or the tenth, something like yeah. that, man. It's super soon though. Seven bucks, bro. You can't beat that. I'm kind of excited about that. Bro. I'm a super Marvel fan and Love Marvel. Man, the, Love Marvel. Some of the the series they're gonna have with the actual Marvel Dude, characters. And, and they're probably fire. Gonna, yeah, they're probably gonna bring back uh hopefully Daredevil, Charlie Cox is gonna right. come back, John Berthenol is they're Punisher. Doing, uh, the Falcon 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Falcon and uh, Winter Soldier, Winter right? Soldier. Yeah, that's they're going to be, be a duo, and all Loki. that's going to be entangled with the MCU. So, oh yeah, I'm so sure. deep in the MCU. I'm like, Likewise. I can't miss this. Now, Likewise, you know? bro, I feel that man. I'm right there with you. Uh, and that, you know, since we're talking about that, man, I'm just going to ask you, you know, off the cuff, bro, if you had to pick your three favorite MCU movies, not the best, but mm. your favorite. What are your three favorites, bro? Because mine are my favorites are different than the best movies, in my opinion. From the MCU, at least. I'm the same way. Like, uh, I like it for different reasons, you know? Oh, man, it's, it's tough, because they have so many of them out God, now. they're so good. Um, I'll say so good. Captain America 3, Civil War. Civil War, that's uh, all mine. That's all my favorites. That's one of my top favorites. God, it was so good, dude. Um, I like Endgame better Endgame than I like Infinity War. Sure, yeah, I can um, agree with that. The payoff in Endgame was just so much. Absolutely, like, There's so many payoff <laughs> really moments for was, a fan. bro. And then... Um, and the other one, I gotta say, uh, the first Iron Man movie. Really, that's what dude, it, it was all good. Off. It was you know, good, you man. Get the, that's the classic uh, 100%. origin story. Yeah, that, you know that they were known for at the time. So. Straight up, uh, I'd say my top three are definitely Civil War. Uh, God, it's tough, man. It's tough for me I know to say. It. I know it's it. tough. Uh, Infinity War was good, man. It really was. I really, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. But I guess I'm gonna have to go with. I'm going to go with Winter Soldier. So that's Captain America 2. So 2 and 3, Captain America. Ooh, I like Winter Soldier too. Dude, Winter Soldier was good, yeah. man. That was the first like real political one that we yeah. got. From. And actually, you know what? I'm going to take that back. I'm going to put Winter Soldier on the best instead of my favorite. And I'm going to say Civil War, Endgame, and... Mm, probably going to say Guardians of the Galaxy 1. The Guardians Straight movies up. are classic. Dude, yeah. and that, like I said, Guardians I of the Galaxy those. 1 is the one that goes on my favorite and my best, like, in my opinion, best movies. Yeah, for sure. Because Doctor Strange is on best movies. Yeah. Like, because, dude, it was a good movie to watch. Like, yeah. it was dope, man. And I like, like them all, you know. Yeah, for sure. I didn't even really think of Guardians. Like, yeah. now I might have to take, uh, yeah, bro. take Iron Man I'm off telling and you, put dude. one of the Guardians movies And Black on Panther there. was dope. I loved don't, Black don't, Panther. Don't get it twisted. I loved yeah. it, bro. And the soundtracks for both oh, of those God. are off great. the wall. Like, so great, bro. Who did uh, Black Panther Soundwave? Was that his name? He was uh, one of the producers on Rhythm and Flow. I don't know if you've oh, watched okay. that yet. Well, uh, Kendrick had full control of the soundtrack, didn't he? Oh, I, I don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure. I think that, he was that's executive right. producer of the that's, of the. Black Panther. Soundtrack. Yeah, that's probably absolutely right. But uh, Soundwave was like, I'm pretty sure he's like the beat maker of it all. Oh, okay. Like, I, the, like wow. the producer. Like, right. he, like I'm, pr- I'm almost positive because uh, he was just, uh, he was one of the producers on Rhythm and Flow mm. that uh, one of the contestants got to work with. Okay. Have you watched that yet? No, I've oh, seen some dude, episodes. It's good, watch it, yeah. man. I'm uh, the Royce of Five Nine one just dropped. That one was cool, dude. They're all out now. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're okay, out, bro. Sweet. Yeah, they just wrapped it up. Royce, I'm a huge Royce fan. He's great, so bro. I was waiting on that. Phenomenal, episode. phenomenal. Same dude. thing. Going to go and binge the whole thing. Yeah, oh. Oh, dude, it's so good. Yeah, it's, yep. it's finished up, man. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, the guy uh, the guy who wins, I'll go ahead and say, I'm not going to say who it is, but like I'm going to say it's a guy, so now you know it's not a chick. Sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> but the guy who wins, he earned it, bro. Okay. He's dope, bro. Okay. He's dope. Like, And he's been my favorite since the beginning, too. So I, that's all I'm going to say, bro. Like, that's all, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it for you or nothing. I got you. But it's real dope. Check it out. It's 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 awesome, man. I loved it. And uh, yeah, like I said, when they bring in one of the producers, Soundwave, I'm pretty sure is his name, he is the guy, like I said, who made all the beats, I'm pretty sure, for okay. uh, the soundtrack of Black Panther. Pretty sick. But, yeah, it wouldn't go on my top three. But it, it'd make top five, I feel yeah. like, you know, top five, yeah. because it was visually really cool, and, like, the action was really cool. Yep. So um, with the third Thor movie, if I'm going to go top five. Yeah, Ragnarok was pretty good. I, I did I like it. It was real funny. Yep. Real funny. <laughs> I didn't like number one. I didn't like Dark World either. I thought, nah. they, were, I thought they were garbage. They was real bad with, garbage, with the bro. Thor series. They still that one. But the buddy comedy yeah. of him and the Hulk I thought was Really cool. I, I like the Hulk off a lot. really well. Yeah, I like the Hulk, bro. Um, the last two I have is uh, The Last Kingdom and then uh, Titans, and that's uh, the live-action version of yep. Teen Titans, pretty much. And know? they went for a darker tone on that one, too, didn't they? Dude, it's rated R. That's what I thought. You, you're legit seeing, like, in one part, I think I think, I think think uh, you might see some breasts, you know? You, you see a little something, you <laughs> know? See. You see. You see it, you're seeing some things, you know? Right. Uh, you definitely are seeing some side boob, for sure. Yeah. Like, you're getting some... But, I mean, uh, is it, know, like, gory, though? That's what I'm uh, Yes Because, like, no. the DCEU, they were going for a darker tone at yes. first, I feel like. So I wonder how how intertwined they, is the Titans with what they were going for? Is that not... What do you mean? Like, uh, like how on the Disney Plus side, they're going to do oh, things that are entangled with the I MCU. Don't think, is I, it into- I don't think... 
I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen at all. Oh, just okay. be, I don't think that's going to go down with DC simply because I just don't think Disney's going to show them no love because they're not they're not getting enough love themselves. Think well, about DC's movies. They're trash. well. I just wonder if DC is going to start to take their TV shows mm-hmm. and have it do have be like first hand in the universe of their films, which I feel oh, like their okay, TV gotcha, shows gotcha, gotcha, have gotcha, done gotcha, way okay. better than their films. I I misconstrued. I didn't. I was misinterpreting what you were saying, bro. Got you. That I don't know for sure. But I really hope they do because the guy they got playing Dick Grayson is perfect. Hmm. Uh, the guy they got playing um, uh, Which we're uh, Beast still Boy is that legit. Too. We're still waiting on a good Robin to come yeah, in. Yeah, so. for real, man. Like, and you know what's so crazy? I didn't even realize until I started watching Titans is like there's like five Robins. Bro. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Like you five. got Batman's son. And, yeah, literally. It's, yeah. It, it went Dick Grayson, uh, Jason Todd, uh, Tim Drake. And then Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne. Yep, yep. so there's four. Yeah, my bad. There's four. Yep. Because, you know, Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing. Jason Todd becomes the Red Hood. Right. Uh, Tim Drake stays Robin. Mm. And then, I don't know. I Like, because in Young Justice, Tim Drake is still Robin. Like, I don't know if Damian Wayne comes after Young Justice or what. But, dude, that's another thing you should check out. It's a cartoon. Right, But, like, yeah, yeah. it's super cool, man. Hmm. Like, it's about uh, pretty much, like, it's, it, Teen Titans, they weren't really like the apprentices of the Justice League. Young Justice right. is legit like the apprentices, like straight up of the Justice League. Like the people that. who are going to take over the Justice League, essentially, if they died or something. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but it's super cool, dude. It's a cartoon. Really, really cool. It's got uh, Aqualad as their leader for a while. Nightwing, which Dick Grayson, Jason Todd. Um, who else? You got Martian Manhunter's uh, niece, I believe, hmm. is one of the characters. Uh, Beast Boy eventually joins. Uh, I feel got, like they're testing live action with this before they implement them into the film. Yeah, for yeah, dude, for sure. That could definitely be something, man. Like that definitely makes sense. Um, but I'm telling you right now, Titans is really good, dude. And like, I it, might it, have to check it out. It's pretty gory. Like people are getting murdered for sure. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. but it's not like I don't know. It's not like terribly gory. Like not like great action. And the action's kind of, to be honest with you, bro, it, it seems low budget. Like, it's almost like CGI, like some of the CGI is just not really that great. That's why I just can't get into the TV shows. It's that, tough. Like, the like they don't have a good TV budget shows or something. that have been out, like, I couldn't get into Gotham. I'll, I couldn't get into I didn't the watch Flash Gotham. show. Dude, the Flash was good. I couldn't get into you it. You really didn't like it? Yeah, I couldn't. Mm, it was I good until like season three. I thought the effects three. were low budget. And it was they like, definitely I were. I felt it was cheesy. It was. It was CW, yeah. bro. You got yeah, That's cable, bro. Like, that's it right. Was, yeah. It was just corny, bro. Yeah. Like, it I'd really, rather stream it really, a, yeah, for sure. an Avengers movie or something. Good call, bro. <laughs> good call. But I'll tell you right now, though. Flash was good till season three. If you can get away from the corniness, if you can get past it. And, uh, dude, uh, Netflix, like, with the Marvel shows, they were sick, dude. Like, Daredevil and Punisher yeah. and Luke Cage yep. and uh, The Defenders was, yeah, it was all right. But I Luke, honestly couldn't get, couldn't watch those much really? either. Yeah. Dude. I don't know why. Hear me out, bro. Watch Daredevil season one and two, then watch Punisher season one and two. Mm. And I promise you, you'll love them. Give them a chance, bro. I will. Uh, you will I'll lo- go and watch them. But I'm going to bet you this. I'm going to bet that whatever shows they have that are going to mm. be on the Disney Plus, that yeah. it'll, it'll make those shows look like you think so? low budget films. Yeah. You're probably I right, bet, bro. bro. I Disney bet is a shows, conglomerate if, that if they is have just the, big. The, um, the one with the Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and uh, who else is going to be in that one? I, I think Vision. I think they're bringing Vision. You're back. right, bro. I think I think you're right. I think but it is Vision. Scarlet if they do that silly. right, you know, and they do the. Do you uh, know that she's one of the Olsen sisters? No. Yeah, bro. What? Dude, I didn't know this. Look, bro. I didn't know this literally until like a month ago. <laughs> no way. Yes, bro. <laughs> Promise, man. She is IMDb the youngest. That chick. She is. She is the youngest of them, man. Wow. Yep, old uh, Scarlet Witch. I can't remember her name, uh, her first name. I'm going to say like Haley, maybe. Haley Olsen, I'm pretty sure, bro. No way. Yeah, dude. Blew my mind, too. Was she in the original Avengers? I don't think nah, so. No, she was yeah. in, uh, I don't know she came around until the second one. Age of Ultron, that yeah. is when she came. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Age of Ultron was all right, though, dude. It really wasn't that bad, to be honest. I liked it. I, I, really, I really dug it. Uh, it wasn't as good as the first one, in my opinion. Mm. I feel like the first Avengers was like, all the way together, and then Age of Ultron was like, meh. I don't even bad. think the first Avengers was like all the way together, but it was like the hype of like, we well, that's what I'm saying. so like, many films that was gearing up to this, then finally we got the payoff. Dude, 100%. And then Endgame was the same thing, but like squared. Yeah, for sure, bro. Endgame was sick, though. Man, she's way down the list, unless I missed her. 
Yeah, Elizabeth Olsen, my dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at her, bro. If you really look at her after I say it, you can see it, So bro. that's Kate and Ashley's younger sister? Yeah, Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No lie. Hold on. Let me find a good picture over here. Yeah, I might have to go and get me on to that Disney Plus thing. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to have to. This is really going to have to go down. But when you look at her, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, now yeah. I see it. Right. You know, I think she's the youngest of them. Elizabeth Olsen. Huh. Yeah. Crazy, bro. But yeah, definitely check out Titans, everybody. We got off a little on a tangent, but it's all good. Um, Titans is really sick. It's got like one or two more episodes for season two. Uh, season one's already been out for a little bit. And it's actually on the DC Universe streaming thing. Like, they got okay. their own thing, too. <laughs> but I just watch it on the Fire Stick, you know what I mean? Gotcha. But yeah. they come out... Uh, well, it's also on Hulu, right? I don't know for sure. Okay. I can check it out, but, like, I don't know. I think it might just be exclusively... I see the uh, trailers for it on, like, it YouTube might, and stuff all the time. But it might be, like, one of the add-ons to uh, channels on Hulu. You I get what see. I mean? Like, yeah. stars and how HBO right. are on, like, uh, you know, Amazon. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you can watch Game of Thrones on Amazon Prime. And then it's like, nah, you gotta, you gotta get pay HBO. another $3 a month. 15 bro. That's how much oh, HBO uh, is, dude. Yeah, wow. I used to have it. Yeah. 100%, bro. Now, uh, shout out to AT and T because I get HBO with that's my subscription. Dope, bro! I got Verizon, with, but yeah. that's dope, dude. That's pretty dope. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it says Amazon Prime, which means it's going to be probably the add-on channel, if I had to guess. Yeah. Uh, DC Universe, YouTube for paying, Google Play, and Vudu. One ninety nine so, an episode. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather just be a pirate of the interweb seas and right. just say, yeah. nah. I say that's not bad because I know I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> For real. But it's pretty cool, man. And, like, uh, you know, it's got Raven. She's, like, the main, uh, you know, focus in season one. Okay. And it brings in her dad, Trigon. And, like, it's pretty good, man. It really is. The only thing I don't like about it, like I said, the CGI is kind of meh because it's mm-hmm. a TV series. As you know, they're typically low budget. Right. Um, but I also don't like that she's so young. She's like 13 in it or something. Mm. And if you watch Teen Titans, the cartoon, not Go, but the original, she's probably like 16 or 17. She right, seemed yeah, older, yeah. Yeah. and she seemed a lot darker. Right now, she's kind of like being positive still and like not wanting to be like, you know, a depressed emo chick, you right, know? And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't really dig that. I want to see her, st- nah. see her like emo style. Like, yeah, for that's sure. That's just how I feel. Like, I, that's the character I know. Yeah. You know? It'd be like, you know, it, I'm really nervous what they're going to do with Gambit. They got Channing Tatum playing him, and I'm really nervous to see how that's going to play and out. they don't have Cyborg in the cast. Right? In what, Titans? Yeah. No, nah, he's in Doom Patrol. That's okay. He gets introduced in Doom Patrol because okay. he is technically Justice League. Uh, right, because but they he, had him in the Justice League film. Yes, but he is technically Justice League, but I don't know if he was a Titan first for a little bit. Well, I just think he was in the Titan show for a that's while. That's what right? I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking like in comic books, he, he was, I think he was straight... Maybe he was in Titans for a little oh, bit, but he okay. was in Justice League. Because I'm thinking all my information from the cartoon. Absolutely. So the comics absolutely. are probably based way different. Yes, and I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he is originally uh, Justice League. He wasn't okay. a Titan. But like I said, they introduced him in Doom Patrol. So maybe like he like he was in Doom Patrol first, and maybe the show is legit to the comic. I don't know for sure. I haven't mm-hmm. looked into it. You know what I mean? But Doom Patrol seems pretty cool, too. It's, in, it's like, a, you know, it's in the... Uh, what you call it, like the universe of where Titans is. Like right, they yeah, tie yeah, yeah. in. Like you I meet see. the Doom Patrol in Titans. You know what I, I mean? See. Like that's how they got introduced. It's like a spin off. Right. Um, and is the Flash and all that in the same? I really, uh, I think. Because I know the Flash and Gotham, I think we're all. I, and the Arrow. Well, Arrow was for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrow and Flash, 100%. And but the thing is, bro, I don't know if um, those are in the same universe as this stuff because this is new stuff. And like the Flash uh. is still coming out, but like I don't. I don't think they're intertwining, and if they are, maybe they're like you said, they're kind of testing the waters on it right, to see yeah. if they can go with films and go with this, and yep. you know, go on about different stuff. Um, but yeah, super dope. And also, man, let's go ahead and get into it, bro. Let's get so, into it. first of all, super dope video, man. Hey, thanks. Uh, buddy. Is it on your YouTube channel? It is. It's okay, on cool. my YouTube, uh, and, Facebook it, page, IGTV. Awesome. Heck yeah, dude. So, uh, what's your YouTube channel? Like, uh, do you, what's your, uh, just, your, uh, oh, the YouTube channel, ta- just at Rob Pimp. Okay. Uh, cool, the same cool, for cool. Facebook. Gotcha. Uh, Rob Pimp 11 on IG. Awesome. And I'll drop all these on the description so you guys can check my dude out and check this new video out because it's super dope. And you got to give him a like, a comment, and a share. I've already Much shared appreciate it. appreciate it. Uh, you know, I'll keep sharing it and getting everything right, sharing it to you all, letting everybody see it because it's, you know, it's a Official as a whistle, baby. And who shot that? 
Uh, my homie, uh, Michael Pritt, he's okay, the, cool, it, I did a bunch of films with him recently. Yeah, dude, so. it's, uh, it was nice. It was crispy, dude. Yeah. It, was, his, it his, was crispy. His niche is horror, so yeah. it was perfect awesome. for a Halloween joint. Super cool. And the song was cool, too. It was yeah, catchy. Yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, a good repetitive. It wasn't like an annoying repetitive. Right. It had a good repetitive to it that's like, oh, dude, that was just enough. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it wasn't too much. It wasn't too less. It was just where it needed to be. You laid the verse down right. Um... So it said featuring Click, and it, was that second verse him? That was. That was okay. Click okay, got verse. you. Because I was watching the video and I was like, unfortunately, he was just tied <laughs> up. I couldn't get <laughs> him for the good. video shoot. It just threw so. me off. I was like, yeah. I was like, oh man, am I tripping? Like, no, nah, I was like, what, uh, what, I'm gonna yeah. play Click now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but his verse was tight too. The song was good overall, man. It sounded really good. The video was nice and crispy. Uh, super dope, man. Seriously, Shout out man. to Click for recording and engineering that too. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know he engineered, dude. Yeah, yeah. it sounded nice and it sounded nice and crispy, dude. It was awesome. Uh, so yeah, man. Speaking of films, so like, what's up with these films? Like, are you guys uh, you got some stuff in the works, right? You've uh, there's been four films already that there are has. out. Yeah, and uh, and one of those, like like we were talking about before we got on here, was you know aired at Kiowa uh, Kiowa Mall with Phoenix. So like, yeah. that was super dope. Yep. Uh, super congrats to you know you and everybody else in the cast and the director and you know Fun production. Time Productions is the name. Cool. Of the okay. Company. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Fun Time Productions. Yep. Cool. Everybody go check them out too. Um, Cause yeah, they're doing big things, bro. I mean, they hit yeah. Phoenix, baby. You know, what I mean? like that's, yeah. that's and legit. that was actually the second one. We had a. Oh, we I didn't had even a, know there was one before yeah, that. That's we sick. had a uh, premiere for Are We the Waiting, which okay. was the third film. And how and, long was that one? Um, oh, I can't even remember to be honest with you. I think yeah. it was uh, right at an hour and twenty. Okay, minutes, cool. Yeah, so dude, we had awesome. one for that. We went. Everybody had a good time. Yeah. Uh, we actually had one for the very first fun time. Okay, film cool. As well. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought the last one was the first, uh, you know, debut one. I didn't know that the oh, other no. ones were at Phoenix too. That's right. really sweet. Uh, but yeah, we had those at Phoenix, and then Night Howl, the one that you were talking about, that's what, it yeah, actually that, yeah. had a re-release. We had really? a release there one time, which was the premiere. Dude, that's then sick. we had a re-release where we had a more family. Yeah, and that's come sick, out dude. That is because awesome. we actually sold out the first time. Really? So, yeah. So Heck some people yeah. couldn't one make theater? it in. Yeah, just one. Okay, yeah, like just yeah, packed. Just one it, dude, that's yeah. sick, dude. Heck yep. yeah, man, dude. Congrats to you guys and everybody involved with that because that's just really that's. That's a great milestone to have, man. Yeah, it feels sure. good, you know. Yeah. Like it, and you the know. The director and the 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 company, they're all. It's like a family there. They're yeah. all cool as hell. That's so awesome, whenever man. We, that's sweet. They gear up to do something like yeah. that. It's you know, that's like sweet. second nature. It's Heck like yeah, everybody man. getting back together. That's awesome. So uh, let me ask you this, you know, because I've never acted. Uh, so like, is it? D- did it come off like? hard at all like did it seem like strenuous at all Um, or like was it kind of or was it just natural feeling to you uh, like personally you let's go into a backstory like we're on camera here but like in like middle school like i was in like a play theater and stuff okay stuff so like i got cast like the lead roles Mm. in fifth and sixth grade that's awesome bro and then time goes on i become a rapper and (laughs) it stopped worrying about acting i didn't do theater in high school so um one day I'm on Craigslist looking for a job, yeah. and I go to the gig section, yeah. and I see that somebody in Ashland, based out of Ashland, what? looking for a spot for a film. That's crazy. I reach out to him via email. The nice. guy adds me on Facebook. That's awesome. I, that's how I met the director. I go in for an audition. That's sweet. Here we are four films later. Dude, that's Best awesome. Best of friends with that guy. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah. That is awesome, dude. Yeah. So it's weird. Like I, it, But it didn't feel unnatural to me because yeah, I'd already yeah. done it once. Absolutely, bro. That's. I mean... I did, like, plays when I was in, like, elementary, but, like, you know, nothing like, it wasn't really my thing, but, like, you know, like I was telling you earlier, I feel like I could definitely, if I, if I like, practice to get into character, I definitely could do it, or even just, like, my character could be me, like we talked about, right. you know, like, I, I wouldn't even have to act, it could yeah, just it's, be, it's like, it's just about you know, being natural, man. For sure, dude, that's awesome, yeah. that's really awesome, man. Yeah, like I said, shout out to Fun Time Productions, yep. that's, uh, that's And super Michael dope. Pritt and Tracy, all those, yeah. they're really good people. Super dope, man. Um... So what do you what would you say you like better, man? Do you like uh, do you like doing film or do you like doing music? What's uh, your what, what what would you pick? That's like, tough to say. It's like saying, do you like eating or breathing? <laughs> you know, like I love to work on my own that. music. I like to just get seclusive in the studio For sometimes, sure, just work on some music. Yeah, but there's nothing like. Um, going in to film something and knowing yeah. that we're going to be on set for a week and yeah. like you're you're stuck with these this yeah. cast of That's people awesome, we're dude. all there That's there's times cool. where you you're not on set like you're not yeah. filming but you're mm-hmm. still on set so you're just kind of chilling yeah that's awesome um dude. the company usually like caters through the week so that's like awesome. we don't have to worry about buying food. Yeah. Or, so it's it knowing that you're going into that. That's that's, that's a good feeling. Warm like you feeling. get yeah you get yeah, to just yeah, spend yeah. a week with a bunch just of chilling. buddies and yeah. 
make a, a film. That's you know? awesome, dude. That's yeah. really sweet. Uh, that seems super cool, man. Uh, yeah, and like I said, dude, if there's any openings, you let them know. I am oh, down, sure. baby. I'm down for <laughs> I real. I don't know how much pull I got for you, but for, I'll, oh, I'll throw cool, your name bro. in Yeah, there. well, here's the thing. If they're doing auditions, man, I'll audition. I don't need to just – I got you. I, you ain't got to lock me in a spot. I'll earn mine, you know. Right. Like, I'm not I'm not the type of person that would ask for a handout because I don't want to give no handouts. You yeah, know? I like, feel you. I'll earn it, dude, 100%. But if they if there's any openings, you know, I mean, even if they're just like, hey, we need another person, right. dude, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll come audition or whatever, man. Yeah, for, for sure, sure 100%. It's really just a matter of waiting on him. Let's see what he's got yeah, booked absolutely, away. Absolutely, yeah. See when he starts. And is he business. like staying in the horror genre pretty much? Like, is that like um, his? Uh, you know, I don't want to speak too much for him. For but, sure, like, for sure. That's what he's done so far. But yeah. I can definitely like he's a homie now. So we'll oh, just yeah, like, chat up about stuff. Yeah. And I think he's wanting to branch out into some other things. Heck uh, yeah, dude. It's just a matter of him working them out and us getting started. Absolutely, yeah. bro. Yeah, I just didn't know like if that was what he was really going for. If that's like his like he he's really into horror films like. He watches a lot of horror films or anything like that, you know. And actually, man, like I talked about earlier, we're definitely going to have him on, man. Like, oh, yeah. You know, and hang He's out. He's definitely a film nerd. Like, yeah, he, that's like, awesome. I'm a movie buff just, too, bro. Not just horror films, but like yeah. he's he's a film buff for Dude, sure. Dude, I, I am straight up a movie buff, as you know. You know, I, all the things I recommend. Like I said, I watch a bunch of movies. Uh, I try to critique them. I mean, I'm not a reputable source, but, you know, like, I try, you know, like, right. whatever. Um, but, yeah, dude, I love movies. You know, movies are my thing, dude, and TV shows are my thing. We definitely got to get him on here oh, for, yeah, sure, for sure, bro. Uh, next thing I was going to get at is November 5th, which is in uh, – it's going to be like a day whenever this is released – uh, from you know, from this release, it'll be like a day. Uh, but that's gonna be Tuesday, November fifth. Everybody needs to get out and vote. If you don't know if yep. you're registered, you can go onto the internet and there's like a government website. I can't remember, but you just t- put your name in your social. Uh, I don't even know. It's a couple few things they gotta know to like see if you're registered. It'll let you know where you need to go to vote. We all need to be voting. Uh, there's a you know, there's a lot of people because here's the thing, man. I was one of those guys, man, your vote doesn't even count, blah, blah, oh, blah. That's, that's that was lie. me. That was me, bro. That I, 100%. I, like, dude, this wasn't even like a year or two ago. Like, I was like, man, your vote doesn't count, blah, blah, blah. This is just a scam. And yes, it is a scam. There has been some voting scandals. 100% mm. fact. That's a fact. Yeah. That is correct. But what is false is our votes do count, and it is our only right that we it's only it's only right to a voice you know what i mean like right. that's how we speak bro yep. and the reason that all these people and these corrupt war pigs are in politics is because the people who are 40 to 65 they go out and vote so right. if nobody in our generation doesn't vote then we just get beat right. we don't even stand a chance against these other we old have people no say because if we don't go straight vote. up because these old people they've been voting for 30 years yep. and like like oh we got to go vote and, and if then, you don't go vote and then you're going to sit here and complain i don't want to yeah. hear it i don't well, want to hear it you know, like yes. sometimes yeah. if you went and voted and you still, you yeah. know, something's not going right. That's true. I, then you have the right to complain. I mean, my thing is I'm not even Republican or Democrat. Like, obviously, if I'm going to vote, I'm going to vote Republican or Democrat because I'm not going to throw my vote away. Because realistically, we're never going to get a Libertarian or Independent or Green Party or any other uh, political system if we're just being honest and being mm-hmm. objective about it. It's not going to happen. So you need to vote Republican or Democrat, and you need to vote with who you hate the least. That's the be- it's a lesser of two evils, and that's a horrible way to put it. But it's the reality that we live in in America. Yeah. I think it goes down to their legislature. Like I, okay. I look at uh, you know, whenever point. we go into a presidential election, I look at what they're proposing. Yeah. I actually go to their website and read their proposals and research is a big thing. You know, and checking them I, out. I had know a lot of boomers that mm-hmm. only vote blindly on whatever party they've grown to be in. For you sure. Know? So yeah. like. My mother, for example, yeah. is a hardcore Democrat because she was raised to be a hardcore Democrat. Hey. Now, I'm not so much like that. I have moral standards that I uh, want to live by, and I will vote accordingly based on how I, who I feel is the best suit. He may not be a Democrat. He may not be a Republican. He may not be an independent. But that is know. how that's how that's how it was that's how it used to be with everybody. Yeah. But now there's too much like, oh, you can't go against your party, and they only vote. They don't care if their their party's wrong. They're still going to vote with it, and right. that's what's wrong with America, yeah. straight up. Yep. It used to be you voted with who was right, who was humanly right, yep. who was for the greater good. It doesn't matter if I'm a Democrat, I'll vote Republican. Right. It, you know That's how it should be, and I'm so glad that you're on that level too because we need everybody in our generation. Yep. And, the and it just goes for what you us. stand for. You know, like 100%. I'm a big uh, right-to-bear arms guy, yes. so you know, it's hard for me to— only vote Democrat if they're going to want to put restrictions on gun laws and you know put more restrictions on owning a, a weapon. Or, yeah, you know I feel like that's a, a organic right, but also 100%. feel like an organic right is to you know 
have the right to uh, of a choice. I'm yeah, pro-choice that's guy true. as well. So like I walk yeah. a very thin line between the left and the right. It's weird. Likewise, I, I'm I'm I guess technically, bro, if we're talking about true liberalism, I am a liberal. That's how. Yeah, I think I'm I am. You are too. I straight think, up, yeah. like, bro, because like even just talking to you, like we just met formally. You know what I mean? Like just now, bro, and I can already gauge you and tell, like. I can gauge you and see that you are technically a liberal by definition, but not what a liberal is today. Right. Not what true not the derogatory term that go. they use. There a you go. As. It's not yeah. like crazy extreme left. Right. We are not, not like that. All. We are very progressive and like like yeah. the best way to explain it is progressively it's like almost we want social democracy. You know right. what I mean? Like we want a democracy that is built on human right. It's not about base for the people, not there you for go. major there corporations. You go. Straight you up. Know. And that's what we're about, man. That's what true liberalism was about mm-hmm. originally. But now it's you already know, bro, it is just all over the place, it's bro. A it's a population, crazy. you know, or not it's a popularity contest. Absolutely. Who's the coolest? Yeah. You know, who's the coolest, bro? And like that is definitely not how we that's definitely not how we need to proceed if we're going to make our future better for society right you know and like it's so crazy man because a buddy of mine i was at work the other day and we were looking up like the poorest countries and stuff and Mm -hmm. like there's i think there's like 211 countries in the world like registered countries not like villages you know stuff like that like you know in different uh you know you know areas or whatever um and uh dude it blew like i don't even i think it was tanzan tanzania maybe was the poorest country Something like that, bro. But, like, it was weird, man. Like, some of the countries, like, it really just blew my mind, like, how crazy these countries are. They're worth nothing. They're worth right. nothing. Like, dude, I think Tanzania was, like, $59 million. That's what they were worth. Wow. Dude, there's people in America. Who could that, just buy that. <laughs> bro, they could buy, they could buy three of their countries, and wow. it would be nothing. Let me see here. This is 2019, so, yeah, it's probably been, I don't know what the month was. But, yeah, dude. I wonder how they get those numbers though. Is that like amount well, of production it's rated or by, resources? Well, or? it's like it's like GDP. The way they this isn't the right one. It was like I can't remember where it was at. It might be this one. Um, it it was something to do with like the UN, the World Bank, and uh, there it is: the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. Mm. Those three are who categorize how rich a country is. So mm. I guess it's based off of like population. Per capita, and they rate them differently too. So the UN might have a different ranking than uh, the World Bank and hmm. the International uh, Monetary Fund. Right. So like it's weird, but man, it was so. And like I said, I can't find the right link, bro, because I was looking at the one I was looking at the other day was legit and it was real like simplistic. That's 2018. I'll, I'll find it and I'll post it in the description or whatever. But it was really interesting to see like all these countries that are literally worth nothing, and it's so sad, man. Like. Because that could very well happen to us. It's not It's not completely impossible for it to happen to us. Like, dude, all it would take is something dramatically happening to the economy, like the Great Depression or something again. That's all it takes, bro. True. Something like that, boom, it kicks us back to a third world country, bro. True. Like, it could blast us back. Or like, uh, you know, it, it could be something, uh, you know, an EMP. Like, if, if somebody wanted to, like, do a hostile takeover or something. Like, dude, it could happen. It's very possible. Yeah. Unlikely. It's unlikely. It's highly probably unlikely. highly unlikely. It's probably not going to happen, but it's not impossible. It, it would honestly be, be. It would have to be from the inside. It couldn't be an outside job. It right. couldn't be like, oh well, you know, I'm Cuba. I'm going to come, you know, right. attack yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Like, not going to happen. No, they would be done. They're no. smoked, bro. You don't have a chance. Like, right. we literally pride ourselves on being warmongers, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> straight up, we bully people. You mess yeah. with us, we kick your door in and kill you in your house. Like, but, you we're know, bullies. That's a. It goes into the corporations we were talking 100%, about. It, they it's, fund it's it. It's kind of, and war brings money. War brings jobs, bro. It's but it's also like like the WalMarts and the Amazons, Hunt, you know, Google's. Um, it's tough. Apple. It's tough to think about us falling back into a Great Depression, knowing that if we force them to pay their due taxes, oh, that I they wish should. We would. God, I hate these. I guys. mean, I hate these people, man. bro. I hate these people because here's the thing, bro. It's not fair for you to get a twenty percent cut and this person to get a twenty percent cut when you make seventy more million dollars than they do, right? Exactly. Or you make tw- two more billion dollars. How is that fair? How can anybody logically hear that and be like, you know what? Yeah, let's just give them a cut. Yeah. And it's who, okay. And who personally needs a few billion dollars? <laughs> like, you know? after $1.25 billion, 
all your funds should be transferred to the world. Not to your country, not to your favorite politician like a lobbyist. Yep. Straight up, it should be to the world, bro. The uh, world needs help, man. Look at the ocean. Yep. I, we read were just a, talking about I, it. I read an article not too long ago that like the quality of life after yeah. $100,000, $150,000 a year mm-hmm. doesn't get any better until you're in like 50 billion range. Really? Yeah, like your qual- how, how like good you can actually live. Okay, like you could okay. have millions in the bank, but yeah. if you're making one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, yeah. you could really do the same thing. You're going to be the healthiest True. guy. You can Round get about. the healthiest doctors. Yeah, you know, you can travel where you year. want to. Yeah, you'd be in good shape if you're a single person. Now, I'll for a family, yeah, yeah. we're looking at you. Probably, I'm talking the best quality of life. You probably need four hundred thousand a year if you got two that. kids and a, and a wife. Yeah. You know, realistically, for you to have the best food, the best nutrition, the best exercise, uh, the best uh, breathing, uh, the best water fil- filters, you know, right. stuff like like true quality of living. Yeah, I'd say for a single person, two hundred fifty or two hundred fifty or one hundred fifty, maybe even just a hundred. And I, when for I say quality person, of living, I don't mean like a super luxurious car and to be drove around. Oh no, I'm I'm talking but, about health. Well, I was talking um, more health than anything. After a hundred and fifty thousand, you're more or less financially free. True, that's true, bro. That's you know? that that makes perfect sense, especially for one person. Right, one individual, hundred fifty thousand dollars is what they're worth. You're absolutely right, and I would agree with that one hundred percent, my dude. Yeah. For real, that's crazy, man. It's so scary to think like it gets weird when you get a billion dollars because then you start buying people. You know what I mean? You start buying. That's like, when it starts getting scary. You know what I mean? You, know, you start buying. You start getting into resources. You're, and, you're paying poli- politicians to give you breaks on different yeah. uh, grants and, and like the strike. You know, like, the strike that's going on with Amazon. They're yeah. them not paying their their workers or working. Oh yeah, they're making their, them their workers like work too hard or something like um, that. They said some workers like for the overnight shipping, they're literally running across. You know, it's crazy, and, dude. It's it's odd that somebody who's making billions can't take care of his employees. Like you're, you, sort of are buying. He is these. the richest individual. Yeah, and we were talking about our personal quality of life yeah. for making that much money. For these real. people are making thirteen dollars an hour. Yeah, and we're and making their quality of life trash. Literally, <laughs> like bro. for working there, slave know? wages, dude. Straight yeah. up, in comparison, the pennies to the millions. That's why I don't want to settle down and get a nine to five. Like, yes, I have a day job as we spoke. I serve tables. I don't consider that a nine to five. That's like a. That's like a. A very elusive job. You get what right. I mean? Like, yeah. you know, serving tables, bro. Like, you could go in for, like, you know, if I work a, a weekend. Hours, yeah. Literally, bro, yeah, yeah, and yeah. make just as much money. So it's a little different. Yeah. But, like, an actual 9 to 5, I'm talking, you know, like, uh, you know, anything, bro. It could be anything that somebody does, whether it be a desk job or whatever it may be, bro. Retail, right. whatever. Mm-hmm. So if you got something like that, that's cool, bro. And I'm not hating on nobody, but I'm just not ready to settle down. I'm only 23 years old. Yeah, uh, and, uh, you know, I told myself if I'm... 33 to 35, and my ambition with the podcast, my comic book, my rapping, uh, producing a music, if it if it's not paying my bills by then, it's probably time to grow up and really get a real job. And I hate to bow down like that to the man, so to speak, but yeah. it, you got to be realistic in life. You don't want to be that pissed off rapper. There that you go, it, you know? bro. There you go. <laughs> Exhibit an eight mile, baby. I mean, come on, you know, I, that's not me, bro. I'm not I'm not going out like that, bro. I'll accept my L. I will keep it moving. Right. And that's it. I mean, yeah. I'll still work on my ambition, but it's not going to be like my forefront like it is now. Right. And the serving you table know? is only, you know, providing no. for what you absolutely need. You got to live. Exactly. You know? it, it would pay my bills, yep. you know what I mean? I Same. mean, dude, honestly, like, do you know, it's really elevated my life going from, like, working a wage job to serving, bro. Like, mm. it really elevated my life, man. Like, it really helped me out. Like, undeniably, because like I said, you know, you could go in on a weekend or something, work four hours, bro, make 150 bucks. Right, yeah. I mean, then you could go in the next day and make 20 bucks in three hours. Yeah. You know, you might not make nothing. But, like, it, it really weighs out and it balances out to, like, more money than most wage jobs, man. Mm. Like, people who are nurses are like, man, I'd rather just go serve tables. <laughs> I literally only got to wow. be there for four hours and I'm going to make this much money. Like, legit, wow. I know somebody personally who she does not, she's not a nurse anymore. She just serves tables. She's actually got another job now. Uh, that's like a salary job. But before she got this salary job, bro, she left the medical field, straight up came wow. back to serving tables because she was making more money and she could hang out with her kid more because wow. she had more time. Straight up. Hmm. Because you got to think how it averages out. Nurses usually working 12 hour shifts, bro. Yeah, for They're sure. They're working six twelves, yeah. you know, five twelves, bro. And they, they get in that. That paycheck all at once, and they get in fat tax returns if they're not in the certain ba- uh, bracket right. that they got to pay taxes. Yep. Um, but in the long run, bro, they're not spending time with their kids. They're not. They're not be able to. You know, they're not, not home uh, a lot. Exactly. They're not yep. mentally 
happy because they're at work all the time. You know, like, dude, a four-day work week is what should be required. There's they, They've proven, bro, that 40-hour work weeks aren't even real, dude. Yep. Like, half of those I think hours... Europe does a 35. What is it? I think Europe does a 35. Yeah, bro, like, week. in 20 hours or 30 hours, you can pretty much get any job done. Yeah. Like, everything that needs done for that week. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like, for the most part, I mean, obviously, uh, bro, there's plants and there's, like, things that need to be ran 24-7, like nuclear. Yeah, up staffing opens more true. jobs. Yeah, that's true. You know? That's true. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, AI is going to take all of our jobs anyway. That's, so that's, we're re- that's where we're really heading, my dude. Yeah. Like, AI is going to take everything from us. Yeah. And that's a conversation I've had multiple times with multiple people. Oh, it's people. happening, bro. Like, like, my it's, favorite it's question here. on that conversation is, like, when AI does take everything. Like all the jobs, be what some do you jobs think humans will do, like for fun? Like what do you think? What It'll do you be think? Like we'll Ready do? Player One, and we'll live in virtual you know, like, reality. There or will something. be a universal income, obviously. Yeah, right. That's so what Andrew people Yang's will make. To do. So people will make a certain wage. It'll be socialism, having to work. essentially. Right. So anything on top of that, you would have to go and find a yep. job if you wanted to. Yeah. But that the key word being wanted to. So yeah. what will people want to do when there's literally no obligation to go do Here's anything the thing. anymore? There's some things that AI can't take over. There's certain things. Give me an example. Okay, engineering. True. Okay. You can't have a robot engineer like a human. A nuclear reactor can't be built by a robot. And if it okay. does, we're looking at hundreds of years until then. Don't get me wrong. We're very okay. advanced, but we're not getting engineers. Like you'll need engineers. Uh, you'll need you'll need servers. You'll need restaurant business. Yeah. You won't need cooks because you can have a robot cook. I don't know. You'd servers. We'll have robots bringing them out to you. Not in restaurants and fast food. Yes, you'll have the thing where you you type the computer like a self checkout. Oh, so you think that'll be like a like a niche thing? Like it's it'll turn up. into going it, to a sit down restaurant because to it's, be it's served organic. by a person. It's organic, bro. I That's see. what I'm saying. I'm talking restaurants, not fast food. Yep. So I'm talking like. You, like like Applebee's, Texas Roadhouse, right. Outback, you know stuff like that, bro. I could even see them going more automatic, but like not with like, the servers, like but Michelin, with cooks like and Michelin hosts. star stuff, though. Yeah, I think yeah. those would keep real servers. Yeah, you. Uh, so uh, the another thing is, I was about to say, it would turn into a higher luxury with, to be served by a human. Uh, yeah, with vehicles, bro. Like you know, that's the thing. Like getting, you know, you said Michelin tire or whatever, bro. Like oil changes and stuff like that. It's gonna be hard for a robot to change oil, bro. I feel like that'd be difficult unless there's a car specifically designed for a robot to take it out and do it. And you get what I mean? Because there's a certain tension you have to have to even take an oil filter off. That's true. You get what I mean? Like you have to pull it a certain way. You have to have a certain tool. Obviously, you can equip it to its hand. But I feel like you got to know how much pressure to put to not – you get what I mean? Right. But that all goes into coding. True. Eventually, we'll have AI that will be able to code itself. That's true. I think they've already got that. So, More I mean, than likely, that'll you know. go into the engineering side of it. It'll For sure, know, you know. Maybe one. They already day, have us. I saw a. I can't remember if it was a YouTube video or yeah. what the other day, but they used an AI to come up with a drone body. That's so crazy. they ran it thousands of times, yeah. way faster than any human could oh, sit there bro, and come up with course. different designs. Yeah, hundred percent. And it ended up coming out looking like the. Um, like the waste area of a yeah. bird. So that's, that's weird. Like they, they ran the code all based off of yeah. like natural things. And then here comes an AI that's wild, designed the last, drone body. The last weird AI video I saw was, uh, I'm sure you saw it. It's been all over Facebook. The AI that like they're throwing like the beach ball at and stuff. And they're throwing like the ball yeah, at yeah, it while yeah, it's yeah. like trying to shoot yep. and like, or do now, something DARPA, else. Now DARPA, that's where that, that is. And yeah. they're doing some crazy, crazy stuff that we bro. won't see nervous. for a while. Makes you nervous, bro. It gives yeah. you anxiety thinking about it, dude. Yep. Cause it's scary. But there's like, they say that uh, truck driving, cashiers, uh, fast food, all that stuff, bro, you're looking at a dramatic difference in the next 20 years. Taxis. Um, yeah. Well, driving is going to take a little bit longer because, like I was saying, with the truck driving, that's a I little different. That's be, more freeway stuff. I think what will hold that back is legislature. There will be yeah. legislature that won't let automatic, dr- automatic vehicles, yeah. like automated. That's true. Um, so I think that'll be what will hold that back. But I think that that's will, legit. I, I like anything that drives, like, yeah. you know, the food industry, uh, yeah. as far as like trucking, um, taxis, Uber, yeah. Lyft, all that will be, they'll be cut out or they'll go automated themselves. Fair enough, bro. That is a great point. And they say right now that Amazon is 98%, um, effective with their trucks, uh, delivering stuff. They just can't get it to work. The 2%. Is in town driving. Oh, wow. so they on the freeway? They're already driving by yeah. themselves, bro. Those trucks are those semi trucks are driving by themselves. And that's what you said, Amazon. 
Amazon, yeah. yeah. And then you have Tesla's trucks who yeah. are running off the same algorithms all their cars are. 100%. So imagine everywhere the cars are being driven. Oh, yeah, bro. They, are, they automatically have they a know. digital map. Boom, of that it's road. there. Yeah. And it just it locks right into it. They've already made lanes in California that are specifically for Teslas, my yeah. dude. Like, that is crazy, yeah. bro. Um, but like I said, the, the 2%, man, it's not going to take too much longer to do that. And then, boom, that trucking, dude, everybody, not everybody who's a trucker, but, dude, they, they said, like, in 12 years, it's looking at, like, a 15% drop. Yeah. Of all trucking, And that would bro. probably double every year after all, that. Yeah, literally. Like, you're not, I mean, dude, what, what are people going to do? Yeah. What I are mean, we going to do? And trucking's one of the biggest, like... That's like losing a plant type 100%. of income. You yep. know, like truckers make a lot of money. There's they a do. lot of truckers on the road. They're underpaid. That moves a lot of money in the economy. Yeah, hundred percent. They yeah. they 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 put the money back into the economy. That's yep. how that's why if you have more business owners, bro, they're putting more into the community. That's how communities flourish. Yeah. You know? I feel like um I can't remember what president it was. I thought like it was Eisenhower that made the uh highway initiative. Can't remember, maybe, but that's the reason why this has become a problem. It's because we yeah. spent more money building highways than we did yep. high speed trains. Like Japan no has a high speed yeah. train Straight since up, the dude. 80s. Yeah, how come we don't have one of those, dude? Have you watched The Family on Netflix? No, oh, bro, that's another one I recommend for you, my dude. You'll love it. Uh, it's about like pretty much why separation of church and state is never gonna happen. And like, mm-hmm. I mean, it could, but like, it's gonna take some deep uprooting yeah, yeah, and the Eisen you said Eisenhower so it made me think of it the Eisenhower era is where it really started like where mm. it really Doug Coe really dr- like drilled it into him he was rubbing elbows with uh, you know uh, Saddam Hussein mm. Bashir uh, what was the oh my god Nigeria their dictator uh, I can't remember his name but I know exactly what he looks like he wore one of those little weird like uh like combat hats almost, like the old school, yeah, you get yeah, him yeah. like the little, you know, little side bill. Um, I can't remember his name. Rubbed elbows with that dude. Um, Gaddafi. Uh, dude, all the war criminals all of the guys, world. Most of these guys are dead now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah they're all dead, all. actually, besides Kim Jong-un. That's the only one left. And, like, he was cool with Putin, too. And, like, dude, they're just, he was cool with all these people, man. He was pushing Christianity on them. They say in this documentary that kind of the reason Russians stopped being atheists was kind of because of the United States. Because hmm. this is how they'll, they'll get you. They'll be like, you know, uh, would you be sick about me praying right now? You know, they'll hit you with something slick, bro. And they're like, hmm. you know, it, it's, it, it might not even be that. It was something else. But it's a way to make you feel like, oh, they're being really comforting about this. Maybe I should try hmm. it. It's not going to change my daily life. And they do just some suave finessing wow. and putting that. Because, dude, in Russia in the 1980s and 1990s, literally they would come in your house at 2 a.m. And if you have a Bible, we're beating you up and we're oh, taking wow. you to jail. Bro, dude, wow. dude, it was serious. Atheist, bad, bro. Wow. And then it changed. So you just couldn't believe in any religion. At <clears throat> nothing. Time. You have to wow. be an atheist. Hmm. You can do nothing. We we don't we don't uh, we don't uh, worship anybody. Straight hmm. up, dude. That was Russia, bro, for years and years and years. And then uh, they say, like I, you know, like I watched that, um, you know, pretty much we pushed that on them, dude. Like when we got cool with them, you know, doing backdoor deals with them, Doug Co rubbing elbows with all these war criminals and right. such. And uh, it's interesting, man. I don't want to give you anything else away. I want you to watch it because it's Mm. good, dude. The family, right? The family, bro. It's good, man. You'd like it. It's like a little docuseries. It's not that long, bro, but it's very, very enlightening on a lot of stuff. It really makes you like, oh, man, like Christianity was legit at one time, and it might have been a great thing for humanity, and it wouldn't – it can't be like – it wouldn't have made it this long throughout – humanity if there wasn't some good to it or some truth to it right but it's been so much tainted since then that it's 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 deep into our politics and deep into everything they do i Na- agree name one <laughs> one politician that you know has ran for like you know something big that wasn't a christian you can't that's true because every single one of them are christians bro that's true and like it's it's like almost like a it's almost like a – it's just a rule of thumb. Like, you know, politics, oh, he's a Christian. Yep. He's a good God-fearing man. Right. You know, and like I said, there was great things to the Bible that people need to take with them. Some people need God, man. I believe that. Do you I, think it's just a stamp that every president needs right I, now? That's though? what I'm saying. It's, it's just a stamp. A, it's even a, if they don't follow that code, thumb. they it's just have thumb. to – They have to be a Christian, bro. Hmm. You can't name politicians that aren't Christian. And if they're not, they subscribe to Muslim. They subscribe to – um you know, maybe Judo- uh, Judaism, you know, maybe they're Jewish. But even still, none of them have been elected president yet. No. You know? No, bro. The, every single one's been Christian. Hmm. Every single one. They always That's pray. Odd. The Dude, yeah, bro, wait till you That's watch odd. this documentary. You're going to be like, oh, God, this is just crazy. This dude's a weirdo. I don't know why Getting he's... Getting into some zeitgeist re- stuff yeah, here. Yeah, this guy's recommending me some crazy <laughs> stuff, man. I can't be hanging out with him. Um, 
But no, I'm telling you, it's legit, and you'll like it. And uh, the prayer breakfast, man, this is something that happens every single year. I had no idea about. Most people don't know about. I ask people about it. You guys know about the prayer breakfast? The what? Dude, it's literally they tried to pretty much – they were trying to like – say that the prayer breakfast was just a way for war criminals to meet each other all around the world and pretty much put the, you know, scapegoat is we're, we're worshiping God right now and we're praying for a good year in politics mm. and we're praying for, you know, better times in the world and all this stuff. Like, some weird stuff, man. And uh, mm. Doug Coe has been tied to every single president since Eisenhower. They show clips of wow. every single president. I just want to thank Doug Coe and uh, his company for everything they do for me. And wow. uh, Dude, I'm telling you, it's crazy. And this dude has been mm. involved since the 50s. Literally. He just died like two years ago. Thank God. Right. He's got kids, but I don't care about those little <laughs> idiots either, bro. He's got two sons. I think they probably just took over. But right. still, bro, like this dude was really pulling it together. And like it's just... It's so bizarre, man. It really blew my mind. Like, cause I already knew it was kind of going down like that, but it breaks it down to a new degree for you and really right. gives you an insight. Because these are clips, man. This is not made up. This ain't. This is not fiction, dude. You're seeing this, man. And then the guy who made it, who wrote the book, because it was originally a book, and then he got mm. the docu series with Netflix. He's like, you know, doing the interview and stuff. You know, he's like narrating, I guess. And dude, he went in to politics in the way that pretty much all the politicians go to go to the highest level. Hmm. You go through, like, these steps, bro, and he, yeah. he documented all of it, bro, and he, that's how he breaks all this down. That's how he found out about Doug Coe. That's how he wow. finds out about these people that are really running things who nobody even knows about. Hmm. You know, dude, it's crazy. Like, Bill Clinton was one of them who did the same steps um, and then got with Hillary because her family had money and he he had money or his family's had money. They had old money or something. And then they was dealing coke and stuff. They was like with the CIA tied in and they was, you know, doing some real bad things. And then uh, J.P. Morgan gets caught with coke just, yeah. what, a couple months ago? Dude, look, I'm telling you, man, stuff man. is crazy. The Clintons, man, they're, uh, you know, uh, don't suicide me. You know, I'm, I'm, right. I'm, just, a, I'm just a, you know, a dude from Kentucky. I'm just living oh, my life. Man. You know, don't do not do me in, bro. Yeah. I don't want to be suicidal. Yeah, I'm good, baby. Um, but yeah, dude, it's really going down and we need, the only way to change the world is to spread the knowledge to the youth, man. So we got to get our generations on board with this. So our kids and our grandkids don't make the same mistakes that we have by being hoodwinked and by this trickery and this misinformation. Because if you know anything about World War, World War II, you know that the reason that Hitler won the war and really won his country is due to misinformation, propaganda, and the controlling of the media. Who's doing that today? Kim Jong-un. He's controlling the media. And our own, our own media. And you know? th- th- that was the next example I was going to give. America, Russia, all the powerhouses, they control the media, bro, with their yep. money. So they're, it's, it's a wrap. They've already got us, man. Yep. So the ones who got to break out and they got to let it be known that we're not going to bow down to this, you know, this trickery and this misinformation. We're going to go out and vote and right. earn our keep as Americans. You know what yep. I mean? And, like, that's how we make our communities better, man. That's how we really open up the door for great – prosperity in our lives man for our great grandchildren and so on and so forth we want you know i'll just cuss look at that i did like this one too look, i gotta beep that one out bro oh, man. i was telling you not to cuss and look at me there i got i got into the, look, I got into the thing talk about politics talk got about crazy yeah i got hyped i just cussed i gotta bleep it man god can't even get my videos to work man amateur hour god i'm sorry people come on man give me a break um but no, where was I at? I was talking about the, uh, I got, man, I have to cuss. I can't believe I did it again, bro. <laughs> God. Threw it all off. God, it really did, bro. I had a great point, too. Oh, my God. What was we talking about? Uh, where was the propaganda. last thing? The propaganda, the, uh, the media. Misinformation. Yeah. Today. Oh, my God. I totally forgot. Anyways, we'll go to something else, man. I can't believe I got to bleep that out now. Look oh, at this, man. man. Who well, thanks for the children, man. What you mean, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, back to the everybody needs to vote. Definitely go vote November 5th. Check that out. Also, while you're at it, check my dude Rob Pimp on YouTube, Facebook, right. Instagram. Check his new video. Um, also, what music you got coming up? 
Uh, what you I've, got in the works? What you got in the vault for us? The cabinet? Uh, what, what are we holding? I've got one music video uh, It's featuring one of my homies, Juice Box. Cool. I've heck got, yeah. Shout out to him, man. I, uh, I actually, uh, no, I wasn't trying to interrupt you, cut ahead. you off. I'm sorry, man. Uh, but I actually, uh, you know, commented him to hit my inbox, man, because I'm going to try to have him on here soon, too. Real cool sure. dude. I've known yeah. him for a long time. That's awesome. Uh, we had never got, got to link up and do a track yet. Yeah. So, uh, probably like six months ago, we got together and was just jamming in the studio with Click. Heck yeah. And, uh, Came up with something. That's awesome. It That's was another like, person it I need to reach only... out to, man. I need to reach out to him too. I totally forgot, dude. I got him on my list, but I haven't reached out to him yet because, like, I wrote down like a bunch of names that I right. people I want to do and stuff. But like, I'm trying to go through the list and pencil everybody in and keep it on like a good schedule so I don't get overwhelmed and it doesn't become oversaturated right. and stuff like that. But like, he's well, already he's on my busy list, with the man. family and school, yeah, so for sure. good luck trying to get him book ready, bro. <laughs> I can't get him in the studio anymore. <laughs> That's crazy, but man. yeah, uh, it was only right that when me and Juice did a song, we called it Pimp Juice. That's awesome, so dude. That's what's I got up. Pimp Juice video locked up uh, in awesome. the vault, and then I'm Heck working yeah, on man. a couple EPs. I think okay. me cool. and Click had a few songs that uh, were backed up, so I think yeah. he and I are going to do a collab tape. Nice, bro. That's awesome. So that should be coming soon. I don't want to give you all a release date for sure. For sure, easy enough to say you. that we got, got something. You. In well, works. when you do, you know, we'll make sure to share and let everybody know. You know, I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll let all my people know as well. You gotcha. Know? And, and then uh, I got one little six song EP that I'm working on right now. Solo, it should be yeah, just dope, be dope. And we don't even have a song yet together either, man. We got to get a track, right? Yeah, we, for we sure. talked about something a while ago. I feel like, bro. I feel like I, I you, you reached out to me, or I reached out to you. I can't remember. I feel like we had something in the talks, but it. As it does sometimes, it just falls. Life, you, life happens. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it happens, bro. But we definitely need to get together and do a hey, song, bro. 100%, bro. And uh, that's the thing, too, man. Whenever y'all are going to release Pimp Juice, man, uh, you know, a week before, two weeks before, y'all come on here, man, and we'll, you know, we'll promote it up, totally. you know, and, you know, let everybody know when it's going to be released. Um, you know, give them some, maybe play a snippet on the episode or right. something, you yeah. know, give them a little clip or something, you know. Yeah, so, sounds good with me. You know, uh, we'll definitely set that up, man, for sure. Uh, so yeah, the solo EP, you got like a ballpark range on ETA on that? Uh, probably, I want to say a few months. Okay, cool. Uh, I was shooting for the top of the year. Yeah, that's what's up, um, dude. But it's probably looking like, yeah, probably top of the year, latest at March. Yeah, yeah, I got you, man. Uh, I'm actually working on a solo EP right now. I got features on it and stuff, and like a couple few people, a couple few people are featured on it. Um, I'll probably do like 10 or 12 tracks, because dude, I pretty much haven't rapped in like, like, I've been rapping in right. the studio. Like, I've been recording and stuff, man. I, like, I haven't wrote anything new in a while, though. Like, and I got all my stuff in line, but, dude, I ain't dropped a song in probably, like, five months, mm. bro, for real. It's been a minute, dude, and I never do that, bro. Like, I used to drop songs all the time, bro, as everybody knows, you know what I mean? Like, right. I was always dropping tracks, man. And, like, I kind of just put it on the back burner, bro. And, like, honestly, this EP, man, like, if it don't sell what I invested into it, mm -hmm. like, with the beats and stuff, because, right. like, I didn't make the beats on this EP. Like, mm -hmm. I make my own beats, but, like, I didn't make them for this. I want right. I want to, you know, outsource and, you know, buy them for somebody. Yep. So I bought them or whatever. Uh, you know, I actually paid an engineer for this, which I never do either. I, I, got, I got out of my comfort zone because sometimes you need to do that to grow. Right. And I did, bro. I, I paid, um, you know, um, a couple of few people. Uh, I got them different engineers on there and stuff. Um, a couple of homies did it for me just, you know, on, you know, just because, you know, they, they rock with me like that. I engineered a couple of them, you know, like I did, uh, you know, because I'm still ciphering through which ones I'm really going to keep and which ones really make it. Right. You yeah, know? I feel you. But I'm looking at probably top of the year dropping. I'm going to hit everybody up and be like, bro, when you dropping yours? Cause I'm not trying to drop mine <laughs> at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Let's release them back to back, you know what I mean? Hit up all the homies, you know what I mean? Uh, but honestly, dude, yeah, like if this EP doesn't sell what I've invested, because I've, I've invested a decent amount, probably like 200 bucks, nothing crazy, maybe, maybe 300 tops. Um, Something like around that, bro, because I've also upgraded software since then, too, so I'm including that, you know, gotcha. and I've, I've added a couple things, uh, a couple new things to, like, process with or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, if that doesn't make that off the EP, bro, like off the merch and stuff and all that and the CDs, I'm... I gotta put the rap on the back burner, bro. I feel that. It ain't bringing me no money, I man. feel like nowadays, though, it's more like um, the merch is where you're gonna make your money anyway. 100%. You know, like... 100%. It's sad to say that music is... Like that's the forefront of, in our mind, but oh, yeah. it's actually just promotion it's for what makes us money. Straight up, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, of course, it's still the artistry. I yes. still take it a hundred percent serious. Yes. But and you might and do physical copies still sell? You know, some people like the old school. They like the CD. You know what I mean? That's yeah. for real, bro. Some and people, thankfully, we're making more off streaming now than we were a few years ago. Hundred percent. Yeah. The stream. A lot of the streaming uh, rules and regulations have changed. Yeah. So that's dope. 
Um, but yeah, bro, like I said, if I don't, I mean, maybe if I don't break even, like maybe if I, if I get halfway back, like let's yeah, say yeah, I yeah. make 200 bucks off of it. I'll keep making music on the rig. Yeah, I'll, like. I'll, I'll give. I'll do some videos and stuff, and you know, get some stuff lined up. Because, dude, the last video I dropped, I did it myself. You yeah, know what I'm saying you. like I literally did the whole thing by myself. It came out pretty decent. I don't know if you watched it or whatever. I'll show it to you after this, bro. But like, literally, I just did it by myself, bro, and it came out pretty dope. Hmm. And I'd like to get a professional video too. You know, with somebody like, like I said, get out of my comfort zone. Let somebody else right. kind of you know, do all the shots and stuff, but I still kind of want to be the director, you know, or whatever. That's how I played the part in the Down to Ride video. Yeah. Like, I was, I co-directed with Michael. Sure, yeah. So he knows how to do everything. That's like, what's I don't up, have to, to second guess yeah. any of his advice. That's awesome, man. But if I have an idea of what I want something to look like or whenever we first started gearing up for the video, for I told sure, him what bro. kind of, like, concept I had. That's awesome. It was, I just had that, to elaborate the... with him, and he knew how to go he, forward from there. Is he the cameraman on these films? He is. Oh, sweet, yep. dude. That's awesome. Him and his sister, Sandy, They okay. she's usually DOP, director yeah, of photography, sure, sure. and he's lead director and writes all the Videography, scripts. Videography, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he writes scripts, too? Yeah, he wrote nice. the scripts. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I need to get up with him, man. He's to come on here, too, bro. Yeah, like, man. yeah. Uh, that's dope, man. I need to get him for a video, too. That'd be sick, man. Him and uh, I had a video release uh, a few months ago called Dial Again. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kiamo. I saw that. Was that with you and uh, Ray? Yeah. Yeah, I saw yep. that. So I had a guy named Kiamo out of um, uh, Huntington shoot mm -hmm. that one. His name is Oxygen Garden on yeah. uh, Instagram. Man, he killed it. So yeah, he's it was the a one, good video. He's the one that did Pimp Juice. Okay, so, cool. you know, I reach out to the professionals every time. Absolutely. Like, I, I don't trust yeah. myself to do it myself. You know? Word. I don't know. The reason I did mine, bro, is like, one, because I want to know how to do it, and it also gives me more skills, and especially where I've been doing this podcast, I'm doing all the editing by myself. I feel All you. the audio, all the video. So, like, I've gotten a lot better at it, bro, and, like, I've learned it because... You know, the professional videos are cool or whatever, but if I know how to do it myself, man, then I get a camera, dude, I, I, don't, I won't need to pay nobody. I won't need right. to outsource. I can save yep. a lot of money that way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it'd be dope, like, to just have somebody like, oh, yeah, bro, I'll shoot all your videos. Like, you know, like, that'd be cool, but that's not realistic. No. I'm not going to ask somebody to do nothing for no. free. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah, that's, exactly. I, like I said earlier, bro, I don't want no handouts, you know? like, And, right. I don't and want, you get what you pay for. Yeah, so 100%. You, you know, the first thing you do is go out and get quotes from different people. For sure. And then yeah, if one guy bids, says, yeah, man. I'll charge you for $100, yeah. and one guy's going to charge you 16 Yeah, who do you think's going to You know that 1600 is going to be legit, but then again, you also have to be realistic as an artist and realize What you want to spend. Well, not only that, but you got to look at your budget. Is that wise? Is that like financially wise to spend $1,600 on a really, True. really dope video that's probably not going to bring you no money? True. You get yeah. what I mean? Like you, you gotta, gotta have you like gotta that. have uh, sufficient uh, marketing and hundred percent, hundred percent, bro. Like, and even then, I mean, dude, we ain't pulling no million views, so we nah. ain't getting no money from no video. No, but shout out to Juice. Like he's getting there though. Like he just dropped October. That's, Fair enough. I don't know how well it's doing, but he got casket to fifty thousand. Oh yeah, I saw that. So, yeah, congrats at, to him. But I think like the the climate that we have mm -hmm. nowadays with social media, you got to have a visual to go with things. You do. You're and right, bro. I think you know. I th I think it's better for an artist to spend the extra money on making sure the if music sounds right and if making sure the video looks right. Because if it doesn't, right. it could come off as you're right a flop. You're absolutely you know? right. Bro. I think the visuals is something that could really make or break you. It's very true, bro. You're absolutely right. My whole thing is like if you don't have it to spend, bro. It's, that's true. You need to invest. Yeah. Don't in go something. into debt trying. That's to what I'm shoot saying. Like fly video. That's what I'm saying. Like it's more. It'd be smarter for you just invest in merch, bro, and spend two hundred bucks and right. then flip yeah. that and yeah. then flip it again and, flip and have that. Fine. That's what I'm videos, saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying, bro. It, it, even if it becomes self sufficient or whatever, bro, I right. would. I would have to recommend people to not spend that extra money. You get what I yeah. mean? Like yeah, sure. you know, like we agree to disagree on it, but like. I just would say, if you don't have it like that, don't do it. Yep. You know what I mean? And like, there's always different ways to go. Like, I um, really wanted to reach out to some sponsors for, for the next sure. video. For sure, absolutely. That's So, like, I have Pimp Juice in the vault. So, yeah. if I can reach out to some sponsors for the next one, and uh, that that just really helps with the finances. Like, 100%. you have less into it. That's why it, I got sponsors you on get this, a better bro. video. You know? right. Like, that's why I'm trying to build more sponsors on this, because, you know, like we talked about earlier... You know, I'm doing a lot of episodes, and they're all averaging about a 1,000 views, man. Right. So, like, I'm getting people's name out there 100%, bro. Like, people are hearing about my sponsors. They're asking me about it and stuff. Right. I'm sure they're, you know, they might not be flooding the sponsors' uh, inboxes, but they're definitely knowing about them. Oh, yeah, You know what I mean? Sure. Like, it's building something. Yep. Plus, I'm offering the page boost, man. Like, dude, I started my uh, Together FTR page. I think it's been about five months, maybe six, dude. And it's already almost more than, like, 
my old music page, bro. Nice. Like it's already got like twenty four hundred likes. Nice. You know what I mean? Like it, it it hit pretty quick. And obviously that's not like a huge number at all. Like that's not big or any type of relevant. Relevance to the tri state. I mean, it's fair enough. Good call. Yeah. Okay. I I could agree with that. Relevant to the tri state. <laughs> relevant on a grand scale, not. You know what I mean? I'll like give you that one. it's yeah. not big. You know, but yeah. tri state, yes, that's decent. You know, like that's okay. Yeah. Um. But kind of back to the video thing, bro. Like I said, if you're not pulling a million views, bro, it you're not you're not gonna get no money yeah. because a million views adds up to like I think it was like thirty nine hundred last time I checked. If you get a million views in under thirty days, that's yeah. the catch with YouTube, bro. Yeah. It's got to be under thirty days. So like, even with Juice getting fifty thousand views, that's been over a year. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. So it it never would have paid him. Right. It has to be quick, bro. That's right. how YouTube said. That's like their um their catch. You know, like right. all right, we'll give you this money, but it's got to be quick. You gotta mm-hmm. get these views flooding, bro. Right. And like, it's not impossible for anybody to go viral, bro. Look at all the dumb stuff that goes viral. Right. Like, that's look at true. look at all the like. That's why I. That's why I'm gonna agree with you, encouraging the visuals, because that's how you go viral, bro. Yep, no, exactly. You know, the audio don't go viral. Yep. It's the it's the video. It, exactly. it can be something stupid. It can be like a dude wrecking a scooter or something. Right. Like a bear getting shocked. You know, like anything, yep. bro. So like, I definitely gotta agree. Visuals are very very important and very very critical to artistry. And you got a point, like Doja Cat. You yeah. No Doja Cat. No. She had a. The female rapper on the new scene. Mm-mm. She had a cool, weird song yeah. that she that was called Moo, mm-hmm. and it was just in front of a green screen. Super weird. Yeah. But now this chick is having like high budget music videos there because that video was so weird. There you go. That it went viral, and now somebody's actually letting her make. Le- and like I the said, the legit dude, music she wanted. Yeah, to make. for sure. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not taking any, anything away from Juicy getting fifty thousand views. That's a huge milestone. Like, I, right. I, I want to be clear on that too. Right. But I'm just saying, like, realistically, bro. Like, none of us are pulling a million views. So, like, a video, right. realistically. And I think streaming isn't going to ever be like your main no source no. of income. But if you have a fly, if you have a fly video, oh, it's you gonna, know, never go into debt, like you said. For but sure. But if you have a sure. fly video. That'll help drive your merch sales, which you'll make more 100%. money off of. One hundred percent, you're absolutely you right. Know. And that's what I was about to get on, dude. You literally took the words out of my mouth. It is a great investment. I want to be clear on that because it's gonna bring you money eventually if you right. do it right. Maybe not in sh- terms maybe. of streaming. Exactly. But. Yeah, yeah. But it, it will bring you money in the right direction. Like maybe yeah. more people will come to your shows, or right. maybe more people will hit your, uh, you know, your donation box with a dollar, right. or they'll buy a ninety nine cent song, or they'll buy some merch. You know, whatever, man. But yeah, I definitely got to agree with you on that. That's a hundred percent legit. And videos, like you know, it's a new wave now, man. Everybody wants the video. It you is. know, everybody wants to. And video. I mean, we have these screens in our pocket all day long. Yep. We don't want to listen to. Something. We're already a part we of the machine, my something. dude. Yeah. You know, straight up, our phones are close yep. everywhere we go. Everybody, all the time, dude. Almost everybody's addicted to their phone. Oh, for I'm sure. I'm one of them. Hundred percent. Sure. You feel sick. Literally, whenever you leave it at the house. You're like, or something. Oh, You're like, dude, oh. I don't even remember the last time I left it at the house. Literally, bro. I mean, I got kids too, so like, an emergency could come at any time. So I try right. to keep it with me, but like. That's still no excuse, man. We need to get away from the machine, bro. Like, That's true. We need to put it down. Yeah. You know, it's good to have organic time like this. You know, like just talking, bro. Like yeah. hanging out. You know, uh, getting to know people better, having disagreements, having agreements. You yeah. know, like it's good for us to build and learn as humans, man. Self discovery is great, dude. And a lot of people just regret in in organic moments like this. Yeah. They'll just regurgitate what they've heard online. That's or true. Online. That's true, bro. That's, I, I mean, do it all the time. It's, I'm, it's I'm bad, regurg- but, yeah, dude. I'm regurgitating you know. a lot of shit I read. Um, but well, like, at least we make our own decisions and exactly like, that's uh, uh, opinions on things. Yeah, yeah. You well, know? a lot of people are just like, "Oh no, it's like this because I yep, read this on a yep. meme one day on Facebook." Literally, and- I was about to say the same thing, dude. <laughs> People like you and I, we get from all the research, and then we build our opinion. Right, exactly. We're not just like, oh, this is it, this is I'm it. not only getting my information yeah. from the left. They took our you jobs. I mean? you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, 100%. That's what everybody needs to do. You need to look at all of the options, and then you make your decision on right. what you're going to regurgitate to spread positivity or you know whatever you're going to spread, yeah. the awareness or knowledge or whatever. And man, as far as going back to making sure you vote tomorrow— Yes. The local elections are big things. Like, 100%. You know, everybody over in Ironton, you know what we're going through right now. So make sure you take Dude, your ass to the polls. And it's been hell over settle, there for y'all, man. Let's just like, settle the argument that's God. going on on social media if, and just let them know how we feel. Like, we got to get people go sharing. To the polls. We got to get people sharing this video, bro, because we need to get people our age and our generation and above and below. Because right now, what? I was born in 96. I'm 23. So. There's people who were in eighth grade when I was a senior that can vote now, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Or maybe seventh grade or something like that. 
something like that, bro. But there's people underneath me too, hundred percent that need to vote too, man. So like. We need to really be hammering it onto everybody on social media and stuff. They got to go out and vote, man. Yeah. And you can find out, like I said, about the government th- uh, the government website um, if you're registered or not. You know what I mean? Right. So, and it'll tell you where you're supposed to go. Like it's according to the address you have listed on your license. Yep. So yeah, you just show them your license. You come in, boom, boom, do your little voting, yep. um, and make sure you're looking at who it is. And maybe, I mean, if possible, try to look at look them up. You know, like yeah, try to do a little bit of research. You know, yeah, like exactly. You know, try Especially to find for some your stuff local out. ones because that's going to have a lot more of an impact on you. Yes. You know, then your local like city or county ones are going to have a lot more impact on you than mm-hmm. necessarily your state or presidential election. Yeah, one hundred percent, man. Uh, yeah, and I just want to take a second once again to thank everybody uh, for all their support. Make sure to share, like, and comment on this video. Make sure to check my dude Rob Pimp out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. That's and right. make sure to go to www.togetherftr.com, buy some merch, drop a comment. I don't even care, man. Just go get a click on there, baby, because I see them. You know what I mean? I don't even care. Um, so, yeah, last thing I'm going to wrap this up with, man, is so – What's kind of your five-year plan, bro? What are you looking at um, in the next five years? Because one thing we haven't got on yet that I, that I want to wrap up with is, you know, um, you're a big part of the Elks, and, uh, you know, you're the president of the Elks and stuff, and they got the Elks Kitchen yep. downstairs, yep. and then we got the Fusion Nightlife upstairs. upstairs. Yep, that's right. So we got the nightclub, we got the kitchen, baby, making moves in Ironton, yep. and that's Lodge 177, you said? Yep, right 177, on Park Avenue. Right there by Speedway, so everybody needs to go check them out. You know, go get some food, baby, go get your yep. drink on upstairs. Um, you know, Fusion Nightlife been bringing through, uh, you know, some big names and stuff. You know, it's been pretty lit from what I've heard. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm definitely trying to get rich on soon. You know, uh, I reached out to uh, his cool page, um, you know, and told him that I'd like to have him on, man. So next time you see him, bro, I mean, I'm, you're in the building, so I'm sure you see him yep. a lot. Um, so mention to him, man, I'd like for him to come on, dude, for, for sure. sure, and promote his brand, you know. He's a cool dude. They're going to have Genuine out soon. Absolutely, yeah. I uh, saw that this, this be month. be one to catch. Yeah. Um, we just had... Like Thanksgiving weekend or something, maybe. Yeah, or I think Like so. the weekend before, maybe. Something like that. Um, then we had a uh, band called Side- Sideline String Band. Yeah, I saw uh, the videos from that, man. It was pretty packed. They were there, there uh, not last night, but the night before, yeah, Friday yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, this weekend, yeah. Dude, it was packed. Yeah, dude, I saw and, like, they're on good. The, they're on the charts for Bluegrass. Absolutely, so, bro. Man, they were That's the move, man. It looked it looked like a fun time, dude. Dude, it yeah. really did, man. And like, awesome. just so you guys know, like, the Elks is like a uh, a club, but you 100%. don't have to come. You don't have to be a member to be able to get into the the nightclub or yes, events like or, that, or the kitchen, right? And you you yeah. can't come and order food if you're not a member. Absolutely. Um, uh, we're trying to work. But out, you're def- Oh, go ahead. Sorry. We're trying to work out more perks for people, like as far as the Elks goes. To try Absolutely. To, Drive membership. So, that's, like, that's the next thing you, I was uh, going to get at. If you join as a member, you don't have to pay entry to the nightclub. Oh, that's legit. So, like, there's nice. one. Like, Look at that. There we uh, go, baby. There's, you know, we do member appreciation nights Dope. and we do different have parties. Have like a party for, you know, right, yeah, for yeah, yeah, just cool, members. Dude. Right. That's the next thing I was going to get at, bro. You took the words out of my mouth again. Um, you know, definitely, you know, you guys are looking for more members, man. You're always trying to expand. For so, sure. dude, come through for the Ironton. And then once you become uh, a member at the Elks, you're just a part of all Elks, right? Yeah, you can go across the country. That's, and, what, I, that's what I'm saying. So, like, my, like, they give you a card. I can pull out my card and show yeah. you. But it's a key card. So I Sweet. can get into my Elks Lodge whenever they're open. Nice. And if I go to any other lo- Elk Lodge, mm-hmm. it won't work in their key card. Yeah. I just buzz in, and I just show them my card. Cool. Heck yeah, dude. They give dude. you a free drink. That's you know? awesome. Yeah, yeah. They, they take care of you, man. Yeah, they're awesome. So it's, it's a great organization to be a part of, man. Awesome. And everybody needs to come check them out. That's uh, Ironton Elks Lodge 177. Yep. And like I said, they got the kitchen downstairs. They got the nightclub up top. You guys got to come check them out for for sure, and that's what that's kind of what was going into my five year thing, man. Like, what's some things you know you got in the works for you? You know, like what do you think in the next five years, man? Like, what's um, some moves you're trying to make? Well, at the Elks right now, you know, like I've gone through some of the steps as far as like within the lodge. Yeah. I was sitting on the trustee board for a while, that's and awesome. I'm acting as what you would call president. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. Essentially, um, is what it is. Right. Yeah. So there's a few options. Like I could try to move toward the district and nice. get grow within you know the Grand Lodge, yeah, like dude. nationally. Yeah. And uh, I think like if you go back and look at the, they, they're called a Grand Exalted Ruler. So mm-hmm. if you go back and look at them, more more majority of them have been from Ohio. Nice. So like I have a have a step up there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so you know I could go that way, but to be honest with you, yeah, in my in the next five years, I'd really like to see uh, me being able to step away from my nine to five. Sure. Uh, but the music and the films. Full time ambition. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's awesome, man. 
Uh, that's really awesome. And, you know, a lot of things, uh, it, you know, what all fundraisers and charities are going on right now and volunteer work are the Elks offering, you know, offhand. Like, go ahead and let everybody know oh, um, what you guys got going on. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm sure I got this one right here. Before we get off, I'm going to talk about the Cash Express thing that's going on right now for the uh, toy and coat drive. And then we got uh, the Jared Murphy Thanksgiving Challenge. You know, mm-hmm. I want to talk about those before we get off. Um, but is there anything offhand, you know, you, you want to spread some awareness to? Um, uh, there's not too much. Um, most of the stuff that we do is all within the lodge. So got you, got you. So got you. it's not like um, – uh, sometimes we'll have events, you yeah. know, that where that's open to the public Absolutely. to help raise money. But most of the time, it's like we have our meetings and yeah, we will yeah. talk about, okay, what do we want to do? And then it'll just be what an can event. make us better. And you know, well, yeah, like uh, for example, every year the Elks they for the last thirty years they've mm-hmm. had a um, a Christmas party for nice. um, kids with. Uh, developmental disabilities. Okay. So we'll go and we'll buy a bunch of Christmas gifts. That's awesome. And every kid gets their own gift. Heck yeah, we'll dude. Get that's a Santa sweet. Claus and yeah. the local Giovanni's pays Hook for it. Up with like the pizza. Up with the pizza. Yeah, that's so awesome. So that's dude. something that we've done for that's years. Really so awesome. that's something that's coming up uh, next month. Heck yeah, man. So that's like sweet. that's like when like so it's not open to the public for sure. For but sure. If, yeah. Like if you there's if some that's something going that down. you're interested in, yeah. come down and be a part of your local elf lodge because that's the type of stuff that we do. You know what I mean? And then when you're in the club. Then you're a part of it, like you said. Right. You're like, joining. You're a member. Right. You are involved in these things that are in-house right. that are doing great things for the community. Right. You would be surprised at how much we, you actually do for the community as an elk. And you get to actually be a part of, like you said, your vote matters. You know, like Absolutely. You, we, have, we cast a vote inside the lodge as well. So, yep. you know, your vote really does matter. That's awesome, man. And uh, I'm going to spread some awareness to this. Uh, the, uh, the Young Brillionaires uh, presents the Jared Murphy Thanksgiving Food Challenge. Now accepting canned food and non-perishable items October 1st through November 23rd. So it's about to close up soon, guys, right before yep. Thanksgiving. So make sure to get over there to Tony Murphy. Um, you can hit him up on Facebook, and you can uh, go drop the food off to him or anything that, you you know, the non-perishable items that you're going to donate. And uh, each city competes with one another to raise the most canned food and donations to organization. The winner will receive a trophy. So definitely hit up Tony Murphy on Facebook and get with him about this super awesome, uh, you know, food challenge. He's going to be cooking for the public. Is uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw on his Facebook. They'll be cooking for the public on Thanksgiving or maybe the day before. I don't know for sure. It's I'm right not around sure. Thanksgiving. Tony's though. an awesome guy. Yeah, so for sure. Definitely. Yeah, show he's supposed to be coming one. on too. We haven't actually formally met, but I know a lot of people he knows. We know of each other type yeah. deal, you know. We haven't actually formally met. He's but, so funny, but yeah. he's a really cool guy, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's definitely going to come on the podcast soon, man. We've already got that in works for sure. That's going to be awesome. Uh, and then the Cash Express uh, Toy and Coat Drive for the Children. Uh, it's an annual thing they do, Cash Express. And uh, it says, once again, we have the opportunity to be a blessing to someone else. Cash Express invites you to join in the celebration of giving. We will be pairing up with local community businesses to help distribute donations to families in the need in need this year. We will be accepting toys, coats, and non-perishable food items in many drop-off locations in the area. We ask that all donations be received by December 13th. So you've got a little bit more time on this one. Uh, they'll be wrapping up right before Christmas. Make sure they got everything wrapped and they can give, uh, give it to all these people that are in need. Uh, so a really great thing, you know. Uh, super awesome. We're asking the schools to help with this and are going to provide a pizza party to the class in each grade that collects the most. The principal decides the winning class. Thank you so much for your support and the very important uh, effort to bless our community. And uh, that's Cash Express, 1317 Winchester Avenue, Ashland KY, 41101. And you can, uh, there's a couple different places around here that have boxes. Um, Charisma Salon and Spa have one. Uh, I can't think off the top of my head, but I know they do. But you can go to Cash Express itself and drop it off. So definitely check that out in the uh, Jared Murphy Thanksgiving Food Challenge, guys. It's uh, a lot of cool stuff going on for the community right now, trying to help some people out. Uh, but, yeah, man, it's been a blessed episode. Uh, episode for 43, sure. baby, Rob Pimp. You already know it's pimping, pimping. That's right. Uh, and, yeah, you can check him out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. My dude just dropped a new video. Yeah. It's hot fire. You got to check it out. Give it a share. Make sure to hit that subscribe and hit that bell on YouTube when you go to his channel. Yep. And, uh, yeah, y'all have a blessed night, man. We'll be back for episode 44. With I I, I don't want to I'm not going to announce the guest yet, but it's one of my dudes. It's a new face, you know. It's going to be a lot of fun because I don't know what his schedule is looking like, so I don't want to say it and then it'd be somebody else. Uh, you know what I mean? I so I, that's why I don't announce who's coming on because like I don't want. <laughs> 
Because I always have like a contingency of like, you know, if you weren't going to come through, then I was going to try to have somebody else. You know I what see. I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I try to make it where I'm still getting the episode in because life happens and people have to reschedule, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. It's part of life. Like, I'm not going to yeah. be like all butthurt in my feelings. Right. Like, you know, but next episode is going to be real dope. This one was super dope as well. And uh, you guys have a blessed night. Peace.